Dr. Bruce Beutler, professor at UT Southwestern, shared the 2011 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for his studies of the innate immune system. Working with mice, Dr. Beutler first discovered toll-like receptors, cellular sensors that detect bacteria and activate inflammation. Dr. Beutler was here today at Sanford Burnham Medical Research Institute to deliver a distinguished lecture and meet with his colleagues. Dr. Beutler also serves on the Institute's Scientific Advisory Board. So what inspired you to become a scientist in the first place and to enter your particular field? I've wanted to be a biologist since I was a small child, actually. And I think first it was a fascination with animals, with the fact that they seemed to have free will, that they were able to move around. And as I grew older, I began wondering about the molecular basis of this exactly what it was about living things that could transform non-living matter into part of themselves and what made living things more than the sum of their parts. That's why I wanted to be a biologist. That I became an immunologist and a geneticist, that was happenstance. I did have a lot of guidance from my father, who was a very distinguished biomedical scientist himself. You've had many accomplishments over your career, but what is it that you're most proud of? If I had to say what would be on my tombstone, it might be that I discovered the receptor for lipopolysaccharide and understood how we sense microbes. Also that I isolated mouse tumor necrosis factor and realized that it was an inflammatory mediator. I think those things have made a big impact in immunology and inflammation biology. Where do you see your research or even the field in general moving in the next five to ten years? I'm uh, a little bit biased toward the genetic approach and I think genetics has entered a new golden age. I believe that with the ability to find mutations almost instantly we're going to figure out how practically all genes work, what their essential functions are. And this is going to have an enormous impact in immunology, as in many fields of biology. I want to be a part of that, and we're working toward that with the very latest methods, especially working with haploid embryonic stem cells and with the newest means of sequencing. And how has winning the Nobel Prize changed your professional life? I would say for the better overall. Uh, I believe that it's a big help to me in many ways. Uh, certainly, people are inclined to give more credence to what I say than perhaps they would have a year ago. And uh, on the other hand, I have to admit that there are more demands placed on me, but I'm certainly uh, not about to uh, say I don't want the prize or I wish I hadn't won it. That wouldn't be true. So how did you enjoy your visit here today at Sanford Burnham? I enjoyed it a lot. Of course, it's not the first time I've been here. I've been very proud to be on the SAB because there's such outstanding research done here, and it's a pleasure just to listen to it. Likewise, it was a pleasure just talking to people today. To learn more about infectious and inflammatory disease research at Sanford Burnham, visit us online at sanfordburnham.org.